My title today is The Importance of Christ. It is very important. What is important to you? Is it Christ important to you? Or your money is important? Or your wife, your husband? I know I'm not saying they are not important. They are very important because money, that we can do anything with money. Without money, we can, you know, survive. But is it important? Hallelujah. The only thing that is important in our life is Christ. Hallelujah. Because everything belongs to him. So the one who has everything, who can make everything, why are we going to follow other things that, you know, he doesn't manifest himself and that somebody has to do it? No. We have Christ is important. And what I've seen here is that the area where you spend time and energy reveal what's really important to you. Hmm? Where you spend time, the area that you spend time, hmm? and you spend all your time and energy, because that place is very important to you, so you spend more time there. Hallelujah. And we know our work is more important we spend more time there so that we can earn our, our living. Is it not so? Yeah. Because if you don't work, how are you going to get it? So it's 8 hours, other 8 hours, 10 hours, or 12 hours, 14 hours. You do it because that is where you get the money or you can survive. Praise God. So if God is important, then we need to spend more time and our energy to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we see that all this thing that we're talking about, all the work and all these things, it is important. But is it important like Christ? So if I chose to, you know, follow Christ, and I know Christ is important to me, then I have to spend my time and my energy. Hallelujah. So that I will receive from him. Hmm? So the fact that we have accepted Christ as our personal savior. And we have asked him to come and live within us. We have asked him to come and control us. Without Christ, we have come to know that without Christ, there's no life for us. Those who believe. I'm not talking about those who doesn't believe. We who believe, we know that without Christ, there's no life in us. So, if I've come to that position or that area, then I have to know that Christ that I put my trust in him, I have to spend my time and my energy with him. Hallelujah. So that all what he's saying about me, it will come to pass. Or even if I die, I know I have a place to go. Praise God. Amen. This is our future. So, but if Christ is not important and you choose something that is important than Christ, you use your energy and your time to serve. Hallelujah. Amen. That is your choice. You can have a choice. But the choice that you are having, it will come to the time that you may meet Christ and come back to him. Hallelujah. So why can't I spend more time and my energy in the word of God? Praise God. Because Christ is important and the word is important, I spend more time so that he can reveal himself to me. And I will know the secret about Christ. If you don't spend more time with him, how is he going to reveal himself to you? Because he says he has given us the Holy Spirit. Yes, this is our slogan. Holy Spirit has been given to uh, Christians. Yes, it is true. He has given to us. But the Spirit that He has given to us, before the Spirit can work or activate in our life, we need to spend more time with Him so that the Spirit of God will continue to teach, teach us and direct us. Hmm? But we, instead of spending more time on Him, we spend more time on something that is not necessary. 
So many things are not necessary that we have to spend more time, but we spend more time, and at the end of the day, our life becomes miserable. Praise God. And I don't want your life to become miserable anymore. Because something that you don't know, something that you don't understand, something that you don't have, you know, uh, idea about it, you do it anyhow. But when you come to the center of God, and God opens your mind to know the precept of God, the principle of God, you embrace it and work it hard. Hallelujah. I know it's not easy. I know it's hard. Nowadays, it's not easy to come and dedicate yourself to God. It's not easy, especially in Europe, where we are. It's not easy. Ghana, they have time to do so many things. They can go to meetings, they can go to whatever, because they have time. But we, we don't have time. But the little time that you have, please, I want you to use it for the benefit of the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So that when you go out there, you can tell people, you can witness about Christ. And people will know the importance of Christ. Hallelujah. It's not knowing Christ. It's not, oh, I pray for money. I pray for this. I pray for... I know. I'm telling you all this. So those ones are good. But have you seen somebody that you know, that you love, that has passed away? Have you seen that person? Hmm? Hmm? You saw them. We experienced it uh, last, last year. We experienced the same. Somebody that we cherish, we love. That we can get a word of God from him. We can get inspiration from him. Hallelujah. Huh? He came to the dam. Now we can't see him anymore. Where is he going? This is more important. For the dead, anybody can die. It is there for man to die. Because the Bible said, my spirit is not going to, you know, be in man for all these years. It will come to the time the spirit that is in you, he will take the spirit. And the rest, where is it? So when you die, where are you going? And the Bible declared that there is a place. Are you going to be part of it? The reason why we are, we are in the service is because we don't want our soul just mess up. We want our soul to go back to the maker. Hallelujah. Amen. So that it can have rest and enjoy. But when we enjoy all the things that is in the world and we lose our soul, where is our stand? Hallelujah. Enjoyment, enjoy it. As I was telling by that the other time. Enjoy your money because you work for it. Hallelujah. Whatever you have, whatever you have worked for, enjoy it. But at the same time, think about something. Hallelujah. Because enjoyment can mislead you. Anna, mm -hmm. who enjoy you? It can mislead you. Sometimes you forget yourself. And sometimes people are, oh, hey, I mean, I mean, I have the Holy Spirit. Me, I can do this. Da, 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 da. They boast, they boast, they boast. But as Bible says, they worship me with their mouth. Hallelujah. As I took 29, I was in 11. Oh, you see, they worship me with their mouth, but their heart are far from me. Hallelujah. Huh? You can worship God, yes. And when it comes to dancing, yeah, Ghana, they have some dancing that they dance there. Those boys, the way they dance, it is good. But I, I'm asking, I, their heart, where is their heart? Hmm? As I'm standing here shouting, shouting, where is my heart? Huh? You, you lack something in you. There's something that you lack. That what you lack is only you who know. I know what I'm lacking. Hallelujah. Amen. And you are lacking something without you realize that you are lacking something. Hallelujah. I want you to understand there's something that is important in you that you are lacking. Hmm? So I want you to do research. Check yourself and see what am I lacking as a Christian. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? I know where my shortness is. I know where my shortcoming is. Now I've come to realize that yes, I am lacking something. I have to make sure I regain that. Hmm? But if you don't have it, and say, oh, everything is good. Enjoy. I had here, yes. Enjoy yourself. Yes, enjoyment is good. But as your 
enjoying, you remember, anything can happen any day, any time. Praise God. Huh? So we need to be vigilant. The Spirit of God has been given to us. What is the importance of the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. This is what I want me and you to observe. What is important? Is it given to us because we need money? Is it given to us because I need, I want to marry? Is it given to us because I want to be rich? Is it given to us because we want to be big? Is that so? Maybe you have your own interpretation. But I want to announce to you that the Holy Spirit is given to believers. Huh? To know the mind of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. To have that relationship with God. That thing, the secret things of God will be revealed to you through the Holy Spirit. The work that Christ did when he left. Without the Holy Spirit, you can't continue. You need the Spirit to back you up. The Spirit of God is our navigator. Hallelujah. That navigates our life. He directs us to a good path. He directs us into the Bible for us to know what is written there. Showing us, directing us, giving us the inside of the Bible. Hallelujah. You can read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. That doesn't make you a Christian. People boast, oh, me have read all the Bible. Yes, you have read it. But do you understand what, what you are reading? That is more important. They can quote quotation upon quotation. It's, it's good to quote quotation, but I'm asking what you're quoting. I do you understand the quoting that you're quoting. That is more important. So we need the spirit filled so that this year we want God to fill us that all of us are going to be pastors and the prophets and everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not only us. Because when you hear the word of God and you take a step, you will try to, you know, uh, know something. God will allow you to know. Praise God. If only you want to know, God will allow you to know him. But if you don't take care, there's some spirit that is going around. You see, the spirit, they are not going to use anything huh, to get you. But they will use the word of God. Hallelujah. They will quote the Bible to you. But if the fact that you don't know your left and right and the Holy Spirit is not in you, you will embrace anything. Amen. Huh? There are so many pastors, so many prophets, they use the Bible. But they are misleading people. Hallelujah. But the fact that you know your left and right in the Bible, it is hard that they can deceive you. Amen. Yes. That's why we need to deep inside our Bible. The Bible is our key. It's our power. It's our sources. It's our energy. It's our strength. It's everything to us. Hallelujah. When it comes to riches, money can the Bible can give you riches. Hallelujah. Huh? When it comes to strength, he can give it to you. When it comes to boldness, he can give it to you. Because you don't fear because the spirit that is in you it will give you the boldness to stand where they say you can't stand to preach. That's why the Paul and the Peters, they were bold enough, not them, but the spirit that was in them. They were bold to preach. I said, don't preach. He said, what do you mean don't preach? Do we serve Christ or you? Hallelujah. So, when the spirit come unto you, Bible says you will be empowered. Power. When you are empowered, the power of God doesn't fear nobody. It doesn't compromise. Hallelujah. The power of God doesn't compromise. And go to Satan and say, Satan, please, I beg you, go. No way. Huh? It said, in the name of Jesus, I cast you, it has to happen. Hallelujah. Some people go and negotiate with devil. Huh? There you go. We negotiate. Oh, please. I want you to go. No, 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 no. We don't have that spirit. The spirit that we have. The spirit of boldness. Hallelujah. 
no demon, no wizard can stand against you if only you do it well. Not that the math one. If you pour your heart onto God, huh? they see you, they run away. They see you, they, not, they, they, they begin to talk anyhow. Hallelujah. But God is good. All the time is good. If only you want to know him, he will allow you to know him. Praise God. It is more important. I want us to deep into our Bible. It says, whoever pursue righteousness and love, find what? Life. Whoever pursue righteousness, huh? pursue righteousness and love, will find what? Life. So righteousness and love, you have life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's go. John 10. John 10. From 1 to maybe 10. Uh -huh. John 10 verse 1. Yeah. The good shepherd and his sheep. A good shepherd. That is Christ and his sheep. Uh -huh. Very truly I tell you Pharisees. Very truly I am telling you. Uh -huh. Anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate but climbs in by some other way is a thief and a robber. So anybody who doesn't go through the gate and climb find any other way to come in is a thief. So if you don't read the Bible, if you don't go through the channel of God, use the Bible to know God and you find any other way, Bible says you are a thief. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? The only way to know Christ is what? Through him. To know Father is through Christ. Hallelujah. Hmm? And how can you know Christ? You can know him through the word of God. And the word too, we don't want to read the word, we don't know the word. How are we going to know him? That he's our shepherd. Huh? You know him through the word that he has given to you. Because he said the word that I give you is power, is authority. Hallelujah. The word will open your eyes. The word will take the word, word, words away from your eyes. Your eyes will open. Uh -huh. The one who enters by the gate uh -huh. is the shepherd of the sheep. Uh -huh. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him. Uh -huh. And the sheep listen, listen and the sheep listen to his voice. Uh -huh. He calls his own sheep by his by name and leads them out. You see, this is what I'm trying to draw your mind. He said the sheep they can recognize the master's voice. Hallelujah. And you know, one papa, and that's one more rano, one more me. And they don't fall into anybody. Hallelujah. Huh? The fact that we have the Spirit of God, we can differentiate the Spirit of God and the Spirit that is in the world. Because the same Spirit that is in the world, they, if Christ knows, they can interpret the Bible and make it easy for you. Hallelujah. And then we are fine. For that one, he will make it so easy for you. Say, be be okay. Hallelujah. Hmm? This is the spirit. But the spirit of God doesn't allow you to do things that will jeopardize your, your life, destroy your life. No. He will guide you into all the truth. And in you may be open. The spirit will never allow you to do because when you do it, your life will doom. Hallelujah. All of us, nobody wants anybody to just detach for them and just grab them, hold them and into their will. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the world that we are living now. But the word of God doesn't allow you to do things on your own. And the IMD is hard. Because there's something that you want to do, the Spirit of God said, no, don't do it. And the fact that we hear from you will reject what God has said and go and do otherwise. Because that one is free. Hallelujah. Huh? Well, listen to when I came here, home yesterday, yesterday I was watching something on YouTube. And the Buddhist man, huh? 
he was this young man and for he has sub Christ. And I wouldn't hear what the, 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 the full story, but the little that I heard. Huh? So Buddhist, he said, when you worship Buddhist, you are free. Satan doesn't wor worry you. It won't worry you because you are in the camp of him. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. huh? The fact that you are in that camp, you are free. So anything about Christ is not your business. Hallelujah. He allow you to do anything. You worship whether they are boo, they are uh, whatever it is, it is. But he allow you to do anything that you want. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. huh? But when you come to Christ, Christ doesn't allow you to do things on your own. Because for him, when he came to this earth, he said, anything that I do through my father, my father whisper, my father said to me before I do, he acts through his father. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus didn't do anything on his own because he took the instruction from him. Hallelujah. But who is our instructor? This is the problem. Who is our instructor? Christ is telling me, Koku, don't take a step. I have to make sure I don't take the step. Because if you take that step, you there will be consequences. Maybe it won't be today, but be another time. Hallelujah. Huh? But the father, sometimes you don't get the results then and then. You think, oh, my family won't Huh? Me and my I was my my family and the whole family. You have taken it, but it's waiting for you. Hallelujah. Huh? When you steal, they don't, they don't see you today. Maybe you go on one year, nobody will see you. There will be a time. What do you want to I will see what you told Tracy. You are. You are. You are. You are. You are. You It will come to the time that it will be full. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? Go, go, go. Who is that? And you, you go and come over. Where is that? Where is that? It's all right. It's all right. Before you know, it's full. What we have come to the crop and say? Hallelujah. Huh? So, as God is watching, anything that you do, He watches you. Hallelujah. Huh? Because He is the shepherd. If you are going to allow Him to be a shepherd in your life, my friend, Satan will find a way to use you rough. Hallelujah. Because you say, my sheep hear only my voice. The Father, you are the sheep of God. The voice that you hear only is Christ. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. huh? He said that, that my, my sheep, they don't listen to strangers. Hmm? Who is that stranger? That stranger can be your friend. It can be, you know, could be, could be Satan. Satan. can be Satan, yeah. Can be demon. He has so many names. Huh? So, who, whose voice did you hear? And what did he say? That voice that you heard, what did that voice say? Huh? This is the, 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 the problem. Uh -huh. Chris, what was it? Uh -huh. When he broke out all his own, uh -huh. he goes ahead of them. Uh -huh. And his sheep follow him because they know his voice. Ah! The sheep! His voice, when the master take the lead, they follow him. They don't follow a stranger. Hallelujah. But they Praise will God. never follow a stranger. But, uh, but they will never follow a stranger. But they, they will never, watch it. The word they will. They will never follow strangers because they understood the word of God. Hallelujah. They know their master. So they can never go to any other person. The only one is Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. In fact, they will uh, run away from him. Because they, 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 see, they will run away from him because they don't recognize him. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So, uh, you, you, you follow any follow anybody, my friend. Who is your master? Who is your shepherd? Christ is your shepherd. You have to put, put, put it in mind. There are so many spirits, so many doing going on in this world. If care is not taken, you will be taken captive. And you become slave. Even though you see yourself as a Christian, but if care is not taken, you will be a slave. Hallelujah. Indeed, Christ has set us free. And that freedom, we don't want that freedom. Rather, say, 
that they are my circle all the time. Because that's true. When you have the word of God, when you read the word of God, when you lie with the word of God, you see the peace that you have. Because of time. Because we go soon. I have 15 minutes more. Hallelujah. Huh? I want us to read this place and uh, see how it goes. The, the lying spirit that I'm talking about. The, 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 look, let, let's go here before we come there. Let's go here before we come, we come there. Uh, John 14, 15. Let's go there before we come there. 14, 15. Uh -huh. John 14, verse 15. Uh -huh, what's it? Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commands. If, if you love me, keep my command. If you you say you love Christ, then keep the commandment of God. Uh huh. Come. And if and I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate. You see, if you love me, obey my command, and I will ask the Father to give you the Comforter, the Holy Spirit. To help you and be with you forever. Is it? To help you. The Holy Spirit is going to assist you, help you, and be with you forever. The Spirit of Truth. The Spirit of Truth. Uh -huh. the, world, the world cannot accept Him. The world can never accept this truth. Because it neither sees Him nor knows because Him. Because neither sees Him or knows Him. Knows Him. Watch it. The world hates the truth. Now, you can bear me witness. Nowadays, if you speak the truth, you won't go nowhere. Hallelujah. And I'm what? You're church, you're free Ghana, but you're church, church, church. Now, we la 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 now, a trona ayahuma is a rope that has entangled us. Hallelujah. I wish Satan can come to me. Huh? When you lie, their lie will follow you the rest of your life. And this country, if you want to speak the truth, or not this world, if you want to speak the truth, people will hate you. Because they love lies. You lie to get your own way. Hallelujah. But as I, as I said, you lie and then the drop will be coming. Go, go, go. One day they'll find out. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Go outside. But you know him. But you know him. You, you know him. Uh -huh. For he lives with you. Because he lives in you. The father, you know him. He lives in you. So you do what is right. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And will be in you. And Christ will be in you. If Christ is in you, you know him and he's in you. Then you are not in control by yourself. It is him who controls you. So allow Christ to control you. Hallelujah. If you don't allow the spirit of God to control you. And you allow the other spirit to control you, then that's a problem. Uh huh. I will not leave you as orphans. I, I see. This is the goodness of God. I will never leave you as an orphan. No. Uh huh. I will come to you. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me. Before long, the world will never see me. But you. But you. Me. You will see me. How can you see him? You see him through his Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? That's why he's giving the spirit. I am going. I'm not going just going to just leave you comfortless. But I'm going to allow the spirit of God to be in you. So that you will recognize that I am with you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. huh? So when the spirit of God come upon you. You walk with Christ. The father too. They are in you. Three in one. All of them are in you. So. If the Spirit of God is in you, the Bible says, who shall be against you? And the reason why all these evil spirits is tormenting me and you, we don't have it in, in us. <coughs> hallelujah. Amen. In our mouth, we praise Him. Hallelujah. Yes. We pray and we put on tongues. You do all these things. But the Bible says, our heart is far from the Lord. Praise God. Huh? Let's go. This one. First Samuel 28. 28. 1, 2, 20. Let's go. And we finish. Huh? Yeah. First Samuel 28. 
1 Samuel 28. Yeah. In those days, uh -huh. the Philistines gathered their forces to fight against Israel. Because, we, because of time, we can't go into, into details. You see, the fact, you see, the, the, uh, uh, the Philistines, they gathered and fight against the Israelites. Uh -huh. Achish um, said to David, Yeah. You must understand that you and your men will accompany me in the army. Uh -huh. David said, then you will see for yourself what your servant can do. Uh -huh. Achish replied, uh -huh. very well, I will make you my bodyguard for life. Yeah. Saul and the medium at Endor. Now, Samuel was dead and all of Israel had mourned for him yeah. and buried him in his own town of Ramah. Yeah. Saul had expelled the mediums and spiritists from the land. They say, Saul, when he was king, he dragged all these Midianites and all these Muslims uh, uh, away. He dragged them away because he doesn't want them in the land. Praise God. And somebody who had dragged them in the land, what does he? Uh -huh. The Philistines assembled and came and set up camp in Shunem. The Philistines assembled and they came out with power. They were powerful. And they came. Uh -huh. and while Saul gathered all Israel uh -huh. and set up camp in Gilboa. Yes. When Saul saw the Philistine, uh -huh. Philistine army, he was afraid. You see? You see why? Why he was afraid? Because by that time, that he, he had the power of God in him. Hallelujah. He was powerful. God was assisting him. But the fact that he became stubborn, disobedient to the Lord, the Spirit of God departed from him. By that time, he was useless. Nothing in him anymore. Hallelujah. There's nothing. So when you don't allow the Spirit of God to work in you, or when you disobey God, God takes away the Spirit, and you become empty. Hallelujah. Sometimes you think you are strong. Oh, I have the Lord. But the Lord has departed from you. God has departed from him. And because of that, he can't hear nothing. Uh -huh. Terror filled his heart. Yeah. He inquired of the Lord. He was afraid. He was afraid because the Spirit of God is not working in him anymore. And he inquired from the Lord again. He didn't know that God is angry with him. Hallelujah. He was inquiring. Went to the Lord seeking for refuge around the woman. Uh -huh. But the Lord did not answer him. But the Lord did not answer him. By dreams. By dreams. Or hearing. Or, or prophets. Or prophets. Then Saul said, then so said uh -huh. to his attendants, uh -huh. find me a woman who what is it? a medium, so I may go and inquire so, of her. So what it? The man who had drive all these mediums away, now the fact God had depart from him, he can't hear from the Lord, he inquired from the Lord, he can't hear anything again. Huh? Huh? You will go and seek for refuge. Because when you disobedient, huh? that disobedient spirit, if you have it, God will depart from you. Hallelujah. And you seek and you because you become disobedient. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. What happened? So so oh. There is one in Endor, uh -huh. he said. So Saul disguised himself, putting on other clothes. So there's one there. And the, the people told him, there's one woman there who can see. Let's go and find solution. Uh -huh. So Saul disguised himself. So Saul disguised himself because when they see when they see Saul, even they'll run away because he was so powerful. So he has to disguise himself and go and see the woman. Uh-huh. And at night, he and two men went to the woman. So they went to the woman in the night. Uh -huh. Consult a spirit for me. He said. You see, somebody who has filled the Holy Spirit, now he went to consult what? Evil spirits. The mediums. Hallelujah. Because the word of God, the spirit of God has departed from him. Hallelujah. It is a one she It will come to the time. Be your fear. Now, actually, your mind will be saying, Sir, when you're coming home, that's no come. 
Hallelujah. Uh -huh. awesome. And bring up for me the one I name. So now I want you to make this inquiries for me. The one that I'm going to name him. I want you to bring his spirit so that I can talk. You can talk to. Uh -huh. But the woman said to him. But the woman said to him. Surely you know what Saul. Surely, surely you know what Saul has said. So you are coming to trick me and come and kill me. No. He has cut off the mediums and spirits from the land. He has drove all the mediums away why, from this land. Why have you set a trap for my life? Why are you setting a trap for me? This is the woman. Because the woman is fear. The woman fear for his life, for her life. Uh -huh. So swore to her. By so the Lord. So said, swore to her. So swore to, so, so to, the swore to her by the Lord. Uh -huh, by the Lord. As surely <laughs> as the Lord lives, <laughs> you will not be <laughs> back. He swore. <laughs> I swore to the Lord. said no, said no. What I say? Now, on the so that woman knew him. And he all did say, I won't do it. In Van Gomaso, Hallelujah. Aha, go. What's it? Then the woman asked, the you woman asked bring up for you. Uh -huh. Bring up Samuel, he said. He said, bring Samuel. Because here, our consort will be a bianfa. It is Samuel who will be a lawyer the mentor. Hallelujah. Now he wants the mentor to speak to him. I want who will be a person mentor. Because that is the only solution that he has. Praise God. Huh? Well, friend, the whole the uh, Spirit of God is not working, the prophets are not working. Well, find any formula, nothing is happening. So he has to go and consult so that they call the Spirit of Saul to speak to him. Uh, Samuel, to speak to him. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, when the woman saw Samuel, she cried out at the top of her voice and said to Saul, Why have you deceived me? You are Saul. You see, that means the woman spiritually has seen something great about Samuel. Hallelujah. Huh? Samuel was so powerful. For him, for her to call the spirit of Samuel, he saw the difference. Hallelujah. God has empowered him. He was a blessed uh, prophet. Hallelujah. So the woman was shivering. Why are you trying to, you know, now he came to his, her senses. No, no, this is a trap. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. The king said to her, don't the king be afraid. To her, uh -huh. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. What do you see? What do you see? The woman said, The woman said, I see a ghostly figure uh -huh. coming up out of the earth. Yes. What does he look like? Yes. An old man wearing a robe is coming up. Uh -huh. Then Saul knew it was Samuel. Uh -huh. And he bowed down and prostrated himself with his face to the ground. Uh -huh. Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? <laughs> I am in great distress, distress Saul said. The <laughs> Why are you disturbing me? Because by the time he is enjoying himself somewhere. Now, why are you disturbing me? Because you can't say you won't you. Hallelujah. Now that I've, I've slept, enjoying myself, have my peace. Now you are calling my spirit to come and do what? Huh? You are going to find a solution from who the person who is dead. Huh? In the same Bible, in the same spirit that was using Nanabaka. So shall we go to Kumasi where he was buried and consult Nanabaka before we can make anything harder? Let me tell you. Shall we go back and consult Nanabaka before we can do anything harder? No. The Spirit of God is working. Hallelujah. It is working. Uh huh? Yeah, you're yes, yeah, yeah. I am in great distress, so said. I am great distress, yeah. Or catch your soul. Someone who said he is distressed. Disobedient, he what? Uh-huh. The Philistines are fighting against me. The Philistines are fighting against me. And God has departed from me. And what? And God has departed from me. He no longer answers me. He, what he? He no longer answers me. The man I won't pray to me until you push up, push up. And I'm saying there's something that is missing in you. Go and find it. Hallelujah. Huh? Because my bonfire, 
You mean tea? Why? There's something that is missing somewhere. You know what is missing. I want you to go home, do your research, and find out what is missing. Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? Bibi Aida, you need something. You need a replacement. Replace it with the word of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? You don't go and consult the dead to give you a vision. Huh? The spirit of God, now we are lucky. Christ has given us the spirit of God. Those days, you need to go to prophet for prophet to tell you what you, whatever you want. Hallelujah. But now, we have the Holy Spirit in us. If anything, go on your knees and ask God. He's there all the time. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Samuel said. Samuel said. No, so I have called you on you to you to tell me what to do. Uh -huh. what Samuel you? said, why do you consult me? I have called you to tell me what to do. And also to say, why do you consult me? Why do you consult me? Now that the Lord has departed from you and become your enemy. The Lord has done what he predicted through me. The Lord has torn the kingdom out of your hands and given it to one of your neighbors. What the Lord said to me when I was alive. I told you what God is going to do to you. Now it has happened. You see, whatever God has said. Don't ever underestimate the word of God. Hallelujah. You are a human being and God is God. The spirit that God has deposited in me and you, we don't take it for granted. Walk towards it so that no evil spirit will deceive you. I want you to understand there's so many spirits that is working. If care is not taken, they will use the same Bible and destroy you. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, the spirit is not given to you to go and count down demon and the whole and the whole land. No, no, no. It is given to you because the word of God, the spirit of God, always connects with the word. Hallelujah. He doesn't lose the word and go and talk talk the other language. There's no language. The language that the Holy Spirit speaks to us is the word of God. Amen. For us to repent. And love your neighbor as yourself. And love God. Be obedient to the Lord. And God will bless you. There's no other way but knowing Christ. And accept him as your personal savior. If God is your personal savior, then whom do you believe? Give all to him and you'll be blessed. You have yourself.